were talking about cross dressers, heterosexual men exactly. who are attracted to women. Right. But I had one I did an interview with guy, he said, I'm a heterosexual man by day, I go home at night exactly. and put on a dress and become a lesbian. So uh, whatever exactly. you do as a gender, you remain attracted to women. Right. So he goes from being a straight man to being a lesbian. Exactly. Now, and a lot of them you, do the male order because they don't want their wife to know and they get dressed in a hotel room. So, you know, this is because easier for them. Because that causes trouble in marriages. It does. Uh -huh. But, you know, we cater to the male order. So, you know, everything is private. Uh huh. So. And you're uh, and probably most trans, probably most cross dressers are in the closet. They may think they're the only ones. Exactly. Do they even know the term? Yes, they probably do, yes. They, I mean, but I'm saying in that, I mean, there's so many closety people in the world about so many things, including infertile couples, by the way. Right, but there's so many support groups and, you know, other, like, things, groups. Oh, I got on the cross-dressers mailing us in Baltimore, in Baltimore, Washington, D.C. area. Right. I was getting 40 emails a day. I, wow. I couldn't, I, I mean, I had two, I just finally, I just, it, you know, but it's very interesting. Now, what interests me is that, I can see putting on a dress, but then they want to actually feminize themselves by putting on hip pads. Hip pads and the silicone inserts for really? the titties, yes. And that, I, that doesn't, I don't understand, that That to me just boggles my mind. Well, they want to feel... Because lesbians can be butch or femme. Exactly. No exactly. cross-dressers are butch. Are there anything such as a butch cross-dresser who comes off as a butch lesbian? No, no, no? I don't think so. They just love, they claim they love femininity, femininity so much. Femininity, exactly. Whether they want to right. be a straight cross-dresser right. or a lesbian cross-dresser, that's on them. I didn't know they were a lesbian cross-dresser. Yeah, they, well, they get, some of them are married, you know, so they, they have to be some type of... They I want, have an interview called A Transgender Marriage with someone who was trans was a married man and then transitioned. Right. And so actually, I was legally married to the wife still, but the gender change was recognized, so essentially you had, uh, you know, uh, two females right. that were legally married. This was before the law was changed in New Jersey. It's one of my 157 trans videos on YouTube. Oh, wow. Wow. That's cool. And so, I mean, what do you find there? Like, are they very shy as people or assertive? Uh, okay. They are very shy, and they, you know they want to know the fitting. So I, that's where I come in. I help them, you know, find the clothes that fit them, uh -huh. so they can feel comfortable. And how do they how do they get in touch with you through the website? Through the website. So where are you located? Um, well, we have a mail order catalog, which is, which is international. Right. But um, we don't have a flagship store at the moment. I see. But what do they want to talk? Have you come and help them? I mean, are there anywhere that people work? Oh, uh, serving the cross-dresser community, going out and helping them pick the things? Well, we have blogs and stuff on the site that'll oh. help them for the right fit of the Maybe clothing. Ben, what happens when you go to the transgender convention? Because there was a transgender convention down in Washington. And I don't remember any cross-dressers, but there was a trans man there right. who talked about carrying his strap on. And oh, at the okay. customs, the guy picked it up and felt it and said, what is this? He said, that's my body part that I'm not wearing right now. Wow. The guy turned beet red and threw it back in the bag and pushed him right through customs. Wow. I mean, cool. it's an incredible story. Yeah. So but, it's been a pleasure working for Suddenly Femme as yeah. a tra transgendered woman. Yeah. You know? So. It's and so been, it's a, the thing is, once again, it's crossdressers.com. Crossdressers.com. Okay. I look forward to uh, seeing your, your Suddenly Femme fashions. And you know, Mercedes DeMarco, you Thank are you. A, a spokesmodel. Hey, that's a great title. Thank don't you very much. Don't heave your chest, they're going in and out of focus. Those boobs <laughs> are bouncing too much.